we now have our segment that dwells on the wide array of motoring problems, not only in the metro, but all over the country as well. This is where we present problems referred to us, or we ourselves see and hope to find solutions for. Here's our public service segment brought to you by Honda Cars Philippines. We've previously discussed how Metro Manila's polluted air had changed when the region was under enhanced community quarantine and that air quality has significantly improved. We've also reported how the Transport Department and the Land Transportation Office have planned to maintain this through the enforcement of emission standard laws for vehicles as the national government slowly allowed the reopening of industries for the economy. This has also resulted to more and more vehicles on the road, both private and public ones, becoming a worrisome issue for some. It is expected that Metro's improved air quality will be back to being polluted. From post-enhanced community quarantine up to now, the DOTR, together with the MMDA, has pushed for the use of non-motorized modes of transportation, such as bicycles, scooters, and the like. Tinutulak po na kagawaran ng transportasyon ang ating bike lanes dito po sa National Capital Region and even to other provinces po dito sa ating bansa. Uh, I am proud to say that the OTR, together with MMDA, has pushed for the implementation of the bike lanes, particularly sa EDSA po. Also, one of the programs of the DOTR and the LTFRB that will address problems on safety and health-related issues in transportation is the modernization of public utility vehicles. We have a choice, minimum Euro 4 compliant heat system or kaya electric vehicle because we need to address the requirement of the Clean Air Act na hanggang ngayon, and only now, under the administration of Mayor Duterte, na napapatupad yung Clean Air Act in so far as public transport is concerned. No? So, sinusulong po natin ito para mapagaan ang ating pagbabiyahe at ligtas din tayo. Aside from the government, the private sector has also stepped up to maintain a clean and safe air. One of them is Clean Air Philippines Movement Incorporated. Ang inagawa po namin is to continue our existing programs. Even before, no, our uh, slogan is karapatan ng bawat pamamayan ang makalanghap ng malinis na hangin. So what we are doing here is conducting press conferences like this that we are doing presently now. Mga seminars, mga educational information to students and to the public. Uh, yun po ang mga programs na ginagawa namin para po na promote natin ang social obligation natin na mananatili ang malinis na hangin at uh, ang uh, kalusugan ng ating kalikasan. No? Ang ating environment uh, is very important so that we will be able to live uh, longer, we will have a long life uh, expectancy, and we will have uh, also good health. Ang amin lang naman dito sa Clean Air uh, Philippine Movement is to, to promote the good health and long life. We thank the government and the private sector for their efforts to keep the air we are breathing as clean and as fresh as possible. Here's hoping that we all work together to achieve a common goal. That's our public service segment from Honda Cars Philippines. And should you yourself encounter modern problems that need immediate attention, please feel free to contact us. See the details being flashed on your screen.